hi guys hello guys good morning welcome back to our channel this is Dawdo and esther and my name is esther you guys welcome to our channel i'm starting this vlog now and yeah this vlog is kind of is it going to be very long or i don't know how it's going to be but i have some updates to give to you guys on this vlog i'll start by saying you guys know i've been on maternity leave <laughs> and i've gotten like some comments asking if i'm still on maternity leave yes i'm still on maternity leave i've been on maternity leave since 30 weeks pregnant and it's almost time for me to go back to work so yeah i'm not i mean i have missed work but now that it's getting close i really do not know how i feel because of daisy it's just been a mixed feeling to be honest i want to go back to work i want to be with my baby it's just like mm, what should i do what do i do and all that i really wish uh, my job was like um, a kind of work from home kind of job that probably giving me that feeling in having her home with me and also working or sort of but yeah um, i have to go in go to work so we are actually beginning to get to that phase and transitioning little by little you guys know that i am exclusively breastfeeding and daisy is almost six months now so we want to like start i i actually want to start um trying formula with her and all that because in daycares here you can't go in with breast milk obviously exclusive um breastfeeding i even wanted to stop it normally at six months so we're almost at that six months mark where i'm supposed to um stop her exclusively breastfeeding but she's just five months and some weeks now so what i want to do now is start giving her um water like introducing water to her little by little from water to starting with formula and um then puree because when i went for her last um um check up the doctor was like oh have i started um puree have i stopped exclusive i'm like no i'm still exclusively breastfeeding it's usually a shock to them in japan because you hardly find people doing that at some point the doctor even asked me if it was like my culture or something i don't even know what to say i, I was just like yeah we do it actually in nigeria a lot exclusive breastfeeding because they were really shocked and they were praising me that i actually <laughs> i have been breastfeeding daisy just breast milk since she was born so I want to start i want to like give her water for the first time in this video you guys will see her reaction like everybody were like just make sure you make a video of her my mom was like her face is going to change and all that like that when she tastes water for the first time the way she's going to react and also i really want to see her reaction so starting with water just give her a little bit of water and um also we we'll just um, introduce her to formula as well just see how it goes i was supposed to do the water now because I had, I actually have everything prepared. So I messaged D, at, and I told him. I forgot to tell him before he left for work this morning. My hand is paining me, you guys. I'm using the big camera, like I'm using all my energy. That's why I love vlogging with that small one. But recently, I noticed that indoor, the videos are not usually as clear as I want it to. Like the quality is not really giving the way I want it to. So, um, outside the small camera we use is really really good dji camera but inside is kind of giving one kind of quality but then again the problem with this one is that it is too heavy for me to like hold and all that we do not have a stand that has the ability to hold this one the other with the stand that i have once i use it it just keeps falling off except i want to use the tripod for a sit down video which I mean, you guys understand what I am saying. So that's why if you see this video shaking, it's my hand. I'm holding the camera and my hand is killing me. Let me rush and continue what I was saying. So yeah, I told D that I want to give her water. I forgot to tell him this morning before he left for work. So I messaged him and told him I want to give her water. And he was like, no, 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 don't do it without me being around. Like, I need to see her reaction. I said, I'm going to show you a video. He's like, no, he wants to be around. So... Obviously, we're moving that to the end of the day now when it gets back from work. So, I'll just show you guys what happens, how it went, and all that. I'll let you guys know about it. And, yeah, um, that's just the news now. We're going to start little by little so that before I go back to work, she's going to, like, be fully into taking formula, taking puree little by little. Because my doctor said Japanese kids start taking puree from four months. And I was like, mm, Really? Because if you see that on TikTok or on social media, a lot of people be like six months, six months. But he's like from four months, they start taking like very, very watery puree. So yeah, I'm going to start trying for her little by little. 
from water we'll see how it goes to taking formula and um to starting puree just maybe once a day very watery one so that is it i'm finally leaving the exclusive breastfeeding did i enjoy it i did i did i enjoyed it but yeah it is very stressful i won't lie to you very very stressful especially for me that i i have a lot of milk sleeping was really really difficult for me it has been really really difficult for me i cannot sleep for too long i have to pump always i have to that's just the exhausting part of it the pumping 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 and you know yeah that's just it anyway so i have a lot of breast milk in the freezer like you guys breast milk that can last for like three to four months if you continue giving it to her hey my hand oh if you continue giving it to her non-stop like at least three times or two times a day breast milk full bottle it can last for like four months i'm actually stopping the whole um refrigerating of breast milk because at some point you still need to stop taking breast milk so all this storage storage i don't know what i am storing for but anyway that's it long story short she's gonna be drinking water today you guys just stay stay with me and see my baby's reaction and yeah i'll just take you guys along with this vlog all right see you guys later bye uh. okay what do you get him now He's in Valley, not too far from here. Our good luck. Does he know who you are? Nah, he didn't see me at the doctor's office. Right. You are now a CBI agent. Come along. Be fun. That's <laughs> my business to take care of. Got it. Didn't get it right this time. You drink you need to. See this one was spoil yes, fish. Spoil fish now. I should stop the water. Stop from as soon as you she asks me. This girl. Agent Reed Smith. You out there? It's from Grand Pelt sent me. Cordero, CBI. We're gonna take you in. Mm. Don't take in. So guys, she's done taking the water. That was honestly not the reaction I was expecting at all. I was, I was thinking since it's the first time for her taking water, she's going to give a kind of I don't know rejection sort of like she wouldn't like it in like instantly but she really really surprised us and she just kept on drinking as you could see for yourself so yeah that's it for this video i was really really surprised i only gave her um a little less than 40 mil as you can see from the bottle i didn't let it get to the 40 mil mark on the bottle so just want to do it little by little see how she reacts to it and yeah basically her reaction wasn't bad at all way more than expected so yeah thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll keep you guys updated and see you in the next one bye